Hello YouTube, this is Puck. I want to show you something. I'm in Mint Linux. This is my Mint Linux machine, although it looks like a Mac. It's not a Mac. I just changed it in this way. But uh, you could uh, see that in my previous videos. But what I'm going to talk about, peeps, is um, the power of Linux. Um, I'm going to insert, I'm going to show you something that you cannot do with Mac and you cannot do with Windows. I'm inserting at this moment a normal audio CD and take a look at the possibilities that we will have after inserting a normal audio CD so this can be like any audio CD alright we're loading the CD at this moment and what you're looking at is my recording screen I should you know close that you will see that uh, Banshee wants to open we could do that because Benji is a very powerful player that will help you not only to play the music but it will also help you to rip the music into an mp3 format that is a format that is 10 times smaller than the original format called WAV you know before mp3 was invented music was about 11 megabytes per minute and now uh, it's 10 times smaller so a song of 3 minutes 4 minutes is most of the times 3 to 4 megabyte and way back in 1997 96 when there was no mp3 when the codec was not invented yet music was 11 megabytes per minute wave so okay um, the audio CD we just select audio here you can see the six tracks we can duplicate the CD that means that we create another CD of it but I would not do that this way I would do it in a different way but I will show that to you in a second and we could import the CD and import the CD means that it will uh, read the CD into an mp3 format to your music library so you can like you know have this music of course you will have to name this music because it's from an unknown artist this music you know was from a friend and he just burned the CD for me and etc etc so these are the normal possibilities that we can do with any computer you know with iTunes in Apple but with also media player we can rip the songs straight to our computer now I'm going to show you something else that you cannot do with any other computer than with Linux. At least I'm on Mint Linux. I'm not sure if all Linux distributions can do this, but I suppose so. You know, um, let me rename this real fast because uh, if okay, I can, will we say that uh, make links copy opens with uh, properties emblems permissions open with okay I will have to rename this so I'm gonna create a folder this is a uh, Jerry instrumentals reggae done this sounds were made by Jerry I just found the CD uh, so I put this in there so this is you know to find some good singers and singsters to sing on this for Jerry you know so he can listen to us while being in heaven but okay um, here you can see this is the audio CD it's mounted and I'm gonna show you the power of Linux right now now comes the magic people I'm gonna click this file this uh, CD open and what do you see here you don't see a CD track but you see a perfect 100% WAV file and this WAV file you can simply uh, create a folder uh, what what music was this again I forgot um, let's listen to it what was it let's see what it was Oh yeah, this was in fact already the this was the CD that I already copied nine songs. Let me see if this is the same uh, folder. Jerry Instrumentals. These are eight songs, and these are nine songs. But what I wanted to show is that you can just simply 
rip the WAV file straight from the CD and you will have the original WAV file the way it was made you know in the studio high quality you know not mp3 nonsense no this is like you know original so you know with a Linux machine you can easily uh, rip without any player just with the browser you can rip any uh, music file straight off the thing in high quality you see at this moment it's just copying the wave file and this is an audio CD yeah? look I have another audio CD here this is so so much fun because look here I have another one from the Mad Professor I have a Mad Professor CD here this is an original original reggae CD you know Arriva Records let's see what's gonna happen we just pop it in we let it read there you go unmounted boom we don't want to open cancel we just want to open the audio disk and what do we see there peeps we see all the files you know of Matt Professor this is Matt Professor this is my own CD yeah? so I'm not doing bad things I bought the CD way back in the 90s man and now I'm ripping off the file straight to the folder and it will not give me some mp3 no it will give me a wonderful beautiful uh, wave file the way it was meant to be so I think for the rippers and the guys that want to you know um, DJs etc you know I this I would use Linux to you know get the music like of course you could do it with another program some wave program as well but I think that this is more powerful you just pop in the CD and you open the browser and you just pick out your songs or the whole album and you copy it straight to to your hard drive to give it a name and you're done I think that is really 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 powerful of Linux that this is possible and you know I just wanted to show it because you know um, I'm sure that uh, uh, Windows and these other guys could not do it because of some I don't know copyright complaint that they would get probably I'm not sure about that but at this moment as you can hear me here in the background I'm desperately searching for my audio CDs that I still have in this bundle of, you know, and not MP3s, no. I'm looking for audio CDs and, if possible, the original ones. And I will just copy them straight to my hard drive in this way. And I think this is very powerful. This what I'm doing now it's not possible with Windows, not possible with Linux or with uh, Mac or with your Crackberry. You can forget about it. It will not be possible. This is so amazing. I'm like skipping all <laughs> all MP3 CDs that I'm seeing with music right now. And I have a lot of them. And I just had a Papa Tauchi. I need that one too. Let's see if I can find it. So peeps, I think I don't have to say any more about uh, about how powerful Linux is. And if you want to know the distribution that I'm doing this on, this is Mint Linux, my people. Mint Linux. So remember it.
don't forget it mint linux get your copy at mintlinux.com and install it beside your windows xp or windows vista windows 7 you know or just uh, install it as stand alone on your old laptop you know you will have lots of fun uh, with linux and this is one of the most powerful things that i'm using linux for in the studio especially uh, because i also dj sometimes and i still have a lot of cds original cds and you all know that the quality of a wave file is way better than the quality of some mp3 file that is you know uh, yeah made so much smaller just to let it fit uh, massively on a cd peeps thanks for watching again if you think this video was useful uh, hit it a like of course and subscribe to my channel and till my next video bye bye